Good morning. For those of you joining us for the first time, my name is Eric. This is Grace, and we're on a two month cross country road trip across the US, of course, starting in Boston. And right now we're in Bend, Oregon, and we're actually headed to a water class this morning. So let's get going. Cheers. Rating the class that we just took, I would say it was 9 out of 10. I wish the little track was bigger and some of the currents flowed a little bit faster. But honestly, after a while, the going backwards against the current kind of feels sluggish. So it's definitely, it's definitely a workout. Like I was getting like kind of like breathless over it. But also I was like sprinting. Like when we started going around, I was like passing everyone I could. Now we're gonna go make some food. We haven't eaten yet, just a little protein bar before we came here. Yeah, shot, food, and then pipe. Um, chicken, peppers, onions. We are at the Lava Butte, only a couple minutes out of town, maybe 10, 15 minutes out of town. It's right behind me, right there. Just this big mound of lava rocks and this trail is really easy very flat pine needles the perfect kind of trail especially if you like trail running lava butte for you a extremely unique feature here at lava butte is of course all of the rocks over here are black and they look different and if you remember like i do from fifth or sixth grade science class right there's three types of rocks metamorphic sedimentary and these are igneous rocks right formed from the lava cooling and hardening and they're actually quite light actually if you feel them but they are uh, kind of rough uh, will not be fun to fall on but it's kind of what makes this place so unique is all of these rocks around and there's even some bigger chunks which are almost like snowballs but i guess like the lava magma version and so right as it erupted many many years ago those balls uh, rolled down and on the way the heat of the lava picked up these rocks and it formed like these big almost like rock snowballs in a way but very cool very different from anything i've experienced in maybe most similar to iceland we were just talking about how it looks a little similar to iceland uh, for the reasons of course being the uh, volcanoes and the environment around them Pretty good outlook here. I don't know exactly which is which, but these are a few mountain tops, like the Three Sisters. And then I think there's also Mount Bachelor somewhere over here. This mountain here is something significant. <laughs> yes, it's something significant. We're up to the top of another butte, Pilot Butte. Get a nice view of Bend. And Shane was saying tomorrow morning when we drive out, we'll take the 20. Up and out that way, probably. Pretty cool. There's this middle platform at the top, and it has in the directions the different landmarks. So, for example, South Sister, if we look up, should be like right over here. Pretty cool. Food from these food trucks. You can see here there's a double decker bus, like a London style old bus, and it's a food truck. We're here a la carte, okay. and we're uh, getting these sweet potato curry fries. Uh, for here, please. Thank you. Voila. Ooh. All right, gotta get some pepper on there. We got the coconut curry sweet potato sauce, fries. sweet potato fries. And they're really good. You can taste the coconut. Yeah. Tastes yeah, a little I'm bit like the jamming uh, boards up from London. 
Echo and Shane just dropped us back off. You know, we did a little bit of buttes, some of that uh, food butte truck. And pilot butte. Yeah, and they're headed to a tulip festival, so that sounds super sick. And hopefully, they, the drive isn't too bad. Yeah. But uh, we really want to thank them, even though we just did. We want to thank them again because yeah. we know they watched the videos. Thank you. So much fun. Bend is so, so beautiful. Yeah. So many nature things. It's right. perfect. I was telling them how I don't know if I ever would have came to Bend if we didn't know anybody here. Yeah. And, you know, a couple of times we didn't know if we could fit this into the trip. Uh, and we were in California. We were looking at things and we said, you know what, let's just do it. Yeah. Obviously, Grace has, you know, family here. But yeah. I was also like, you know, like that'd be fun. Like just something that we didn't originally plan for. Yeah. And uh, I'm really glad we came. It was a great chance to just recharge, you know, do some laundry, yeah. things like that. But then also, Grace and I both love just meeting new people, having new experiences. So, really excited we came. Yeah. And now Grace is going to go knock out for two hours. Yeah, go sleep. Go yeah. Sleep so, we basically have the rest of the day just to kind of get our stuff together, leaving early tomorrow morning. So, we're going to take it really chill and uh, cook dinner later. And that'll be about it. I just woke Grace up from her nap, 7.30. Mm -hmm. And we're starting to cook dinner here. Gonna finish off the rest of the spinach by sauteing it. Got two chicken breasts left. We'll cut them up like this. I'm gonna run to the car to get the seasoning I've been wanting to use. And then we have a few onions and a bell pepper left. Probably do the mixed strips like we have the past couple nights. And then we also have, I think, six eggs. Yogurt will be for breakfast tomorrow. The finished product. Onions, green peppers and spinach, eggs, chicken. Walking to the car again to start putting some stuff away, like our detergent and the spices from cooking everything. But gonna wind down the night here pretty soon. We uh, cooked up all of our leftover groceries, as you saw, and had dinner with Shane's dad, Tom. It was really great. We've been staying with the past few days, so. It's nice to sit down and have dinner with him. And right now, as I'm doing this, Grace is actually showing him our Morocco videos. Because he actually went to Morocco back in like the 70s, I think he said. So it'd be cool to compare notes on that. <clears throat> but the plan is tomorrow to leave nice and early. Wake up around 6ish a.m. And the idea is, you know, we're pretty refreshed after having a few days of good rest and not really driving at all. Or really not driving at all. And so, you know, if there's a day to do literally a full day of driving, 11 and a half hours, including charges, tomorrow would be the day to do it. And then also just get there, you know, I think we can time it right. We want to get right outside of Salt Lake to the Salt Flats because that's one of the major things we want to do. But yeah, we're going to leave nice and early tomorrow. Make sure we get there before with some margin of error for sunset. Don't want to be driving in the dark again. But that does it for our time here in Bend. And uh, we thoroughly enjoyed it. Again, Grace and I keep saying how um, there's just so many things that we like and it was a great addition to this trip that we didn't expect at first. So I'm gonna go put these things away, hang out for a little bit and then uh, head to bed. So good night from us and we'll see you in tomorrow's vlog.